Alright guys, just a quick update on my uh, Epi Stylus and the fin and tail rod. So far it looks like the Waru's are healed. It looks like all where the rot was. It looks to be growing the fins. This guy, not so much. You can see his tail. Hers, his. If you look at my last video, it was like double the size. And it was kind of white looking. So I took them out, scraped the white off with a soft toothbrush, and it was red like blood under it. So I left it like that. Put a little neosporin on the tip, put them back in, and then today I woke up, this is not how it was, but half of it just fell right off his tail where the uh, blood was under there, like solid blood. So I said, screw it, the antibiotics probably aren't working. Been using them for two weeks or longer now. So I said, screw it, I took them out and cut his tail with a sharp scissors probably about a good quarter inch past where all the rot was and then I put the Neosporin on but then I took it a step further I said let me put my UV sterilizer in this little tank it's meant for like 125 gallons so I wanted to kill all the bacteria that's in the uh, water column this will probably do it in less than probably 15-20 minutes because it's that strong so, I was thinking, take the water halfway out, put this sterilizer in there, but then I got the thinking, I cut the guy's tail like that, there's probably bacteria all on his body, and the water is too, so I got my methylene blue, and uh, made it like a dip, you only can put the fish in for 10 seconds, it kills everything on him. So I took them all out, the Warus first, dipped them 10 seconds, the Geophagus. Then I did the uh, Severn, put them in there for 10 seconds, but as I did it, I kind of massaged the tip where I put the Neosporin because it was kind of greasy like Vaseline. I wanted everything to get killed under there. And then I put them back in, but I did put more Neosporin on there. So this time around, I'm hoping that with this sterilizer in the aquarium there'll be no uh, bacteria hardly in the water column so maybe just maybe he'll be able to heal before anything could attack him his immune system's probably uh, fighting it but there's so much bacteria it's overtaking him so I'm guessing if there's uh, way less in the water column, maybe he could fight it now because his immune system's used to fighting it and there won't be that much of it on his tail. Because if this don't work now, guys, I don't know what else to do. I think he's a goner. So fingers crossed. Can't really see it's dark. Fingers crossed this works. My last resort, it looks like crap, but it'll probably grow back. It'll take a while if it heals up, we'll see. Say your prayers for me, guys. I'm going to need it. But that's the update. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. Later.